What is up guys, Julius here, and today I am going to show you how I created these animated graphs in Premiere Pro. Please hit the like button if you like the video, and the dislike button if you dislike it. But let's get started. So the graphs we will be working with today are some which I just created in Illustrator real quick. They would be possible to create in Premiere as well, but for the sake of time I created them in Illustrator and just imported them as PNG images into Premiere. Okay, so I'm just here in my Premiere, where I prepared a sequence with a white background. And the first graph we will be working with today is this one, graph 1, which looks like this. And we want to animate it to make it look really nice. And it is actually pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is go over here to your project, right click, new item, adjustment layer, like so, hit OK. Drag that adjustment layer on top of your graph. Then you want to go into your adjustment layer and under opacity here, you want to click this create four point polygon mask. Like so, turn down the feather all the way. Very nice. And then we want to turn up the scale a little bit. And we basically want it to be, to be all the way around the, uh, our graph. So I think something like this should do. Next up, you want to go into your effects over here. You want to go into keying and you want to take this track map key and, and uh, apply that to your graph layer, like so. And under the effects control, you want to go into matte. And here where it says none, you want to select video 3. But this just removes everything which is not in the mask. So you want to go back into your adjustment layer and under mask hit invert. So now the graph is removed. And basically what we want to do now is go up into here into motion. Toggle it at the start of the clip. Go to where you want the graph animation to stop animating. Let's maybe say after four seconds and you want to crank up the Y axis like so. Just to see if it is out of the frame. A little bit more. Nice. Let's take a look. And if you want to maybe make it go a little bit faster, you can also do that. But just maybe dragging it a few frames back. But currently, the speed is the same and the graph is actually, so it's kind of being slower, a little bit slower at the end. But the way we can fix that is just by making it speed up in here in our frames. So if we do it like this, the velocity is going to increase. So let's take a look at it now. And here, of course, you can just Play around with it until you get like a, the exact animation that you're looking for. Maybe something like this looks pretty nice. Yeah, let's keep going with this. So the next thing I want to show you is a bar graph animation. And here in my second sequence, I've also just prepared a white background. And I'm just going to drag on top my um, second graph. But this one is split into multiple images. So I have my axis here. And I have my columns here. Column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6, and just drag them all the way out, it's, it's like so. Okay, so the approach to animating this graph is actually quite similar. I'm just gonna copy over our adjustment layer from the previous one, because we will actually be using that as well. So, and as you can see, we have this animation on the graph as well. But uh, let me just uh, make this linear. This one, I'm sure, this okay. This is linear, so now it will have the same speed all the time. But what I'm actually interested in doing is this one. It's going way too far up. Our max peak is somewhere around here, right? like so that is one of them but what I want to do is I want to have them all animated but offset a little bit 
because what we could actually do right now is just of course apply the track med key to all of the to all of the layers and we're actually gonna do that so now you can see the animate like this and this looks uh, pretty nice except we don't want it on this one Very nice, but I would like to have them offset a little bit. So what we want to do here, this might sound weird, but we actually want six adjustment layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, like so. And this first one should be nine. Now we want to change the track mate key on all the pictures. So this one should be video nine, video 10 for this one, video 11 for the third one, video 12 for the fourth one, video 13 for the fifth one and video 14 for the sixth one and what we're going to do is just offset these adjustment layers just a little bit like so Let's take a oh there's something wrong here yeah of course so these ones you want to match as well up with the ones above So take a look guys, this looks pretty sweet and I'm very happy with that. Let's take a look at the final products. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Also in the comments, please let me know which type of tutorial you would like to see next. But anyways, bye guys.